The old Blue Grammar School organ was installed by Nicholson and Company of Worcester in about 1954. It stood in the main school hall with most of the pipework on a platform over the hall door. The console was in a recess to the side. The instrument served the school for many years, during which time the school became a comprehensive school and was renamed Langley High School. In 2015, the school was demolished to make way for the new Oldbury Academy. A group of old pupils at the school were given six days to save the organ. They hoped to rebuild the instrument in a church in Staffordshire. Unfortunately, the plan fell through and the organ went into storage. In 2019, the building in which the organ was stored was also due for demolition. The metal pipes of the organ were sold to an organ builder and the console parts were offered for sale on eBay. I purchased the console and removed it in two carloads to my home in Bridge North. Where I have rebuilt it and midified it giving it a new life as the console of a hubwork-based virtual pipe organ. The first task was to clean, convert and midify the keyboards. The original wiring and the wire contacts were removed. The keys were very dusty and the contacts were badly spark burned. The part of each key spring which made contact with the old wire contacts was cut off to make room for the shutters which would operate the new system. The new optical system use boards which I had designed for an earlier project. Keying is done by moving small plastic shutters between the two pillars of the black optical switches. This closer view shows the shutters on the ends of the keys in the note off position. Here we can see a keyboard nearly finished. It can now be connected to a MIDI-based organ sampler, such as Hauptwerk, and played. This view of the underside of a keyboard shows the rear of the thumb pistons and their original wiring. The pistons were disassembled, cleaned and replaced. The original wire loom was retained. The pistons require a higher voltage than the microprocessor which now controls the organ, so a converter board was made. The 
pedal section was temporarily reassembled to plan work. The thick lino covering the pedal sweep and swell pedal was dried out and cracking, so it was decided to replace this with a layer of thin plywood, stained and varnished to match. The pedal board was disassembled and repaired. The pedal notes were cleaned, refinished and polished. What appeared to be 50 years worth of spilt school dinners was removed, leaving the pedal board looking almost as good as new. I had originally intended to extend the console to three manuals, so when recovering the pedal sweep I added a second expression pedal and more toe pistons. The new expression pedal was made from some of the spare wood which came with the console. Both pedals were converted to operate as electronic volume controls. The new plywood layer was glued in place. The expression pedals, now neatly recovered, were fitted and the toe pistons replaced. Like the thumb pistons, the toe studs require a higher voltage, so again a converter board was made. Now the whole pedal section was assembled. It is now a fully working unit. Two panels from the original console casing were fitted as sides, along with a modified version of the frame on which the keyboards sit. With the keyboards in place, the organ is functioning again. restore the stop action motors and convert them to work with MIDI. Like the rest of the organ, the motors were full of dust, the wiring was broken and some of the motors were damaged. The original wiring was very complicated with several wires connected to each motor. The unit was dismantled, each motor was cleaned, oiled and repaired. Flywheel diodes were fitted across the solenoids to protect the circuits. A circuit was designed to allow the microprocessor to control the stop motors. A prototype board was made to test the circuit using a block of eight stop motors. The computer is switching on each motor in turn. The screen is displaying the MIDI messages sent back to the computer in response. Notice that the stops appear to the keyboard to be musical notes. For this prototype, the two functions 
are being handled by separate microprocessors. The green one is reading the stop switches and the blue one is controlling the stop motors. The red heat shrink is covering the flywheel diodes. Once everything is working well, full-size circuit boards are made and the stop unit is ready to be fitted to the organ. Now all that remains is to finish off the cabinet work. And at last, the work is done.